Good afternoon and welcome to Opinion Journal. James Freeman here. What happens next to George Zimmerman? Here to talk about it is our editorial page editor, Paul Gigo. Thanks for uh, joining us, Paul. James, great to be here. Now, the uh, uh, I want to talk about what does happen next, but just uh, uh, quickly on the trial here. I think, uh, you know, a, a tragic uh, story for all involved. Yes. Uh, and uh, and I think for a lot of people, frustrating that uh, an unarmed uh, man is shot and, and uh, uh, of there's course, no consequences. of course, no consequences, and uh, uh, perhaps this was, uh, if there's some good coming from this, uh, a lesson on what a what a trial is intended to do and what it is not either intended or capable of doing. Yeah, a trial is about a specific defendant and a specific uh, uh, element of the law that he is alleged to have broken, and of course, a specific set of facts, and that is what the jury seemed to focus on, and I think to its credit, did so. And as I read the, 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 the followed this trial, the, the prosecution really did not make its case that he was guilty of second degree murder or manslaughter. And, uh, and of course, I think the jury, we, don't, we haven't heard from the jurors yet, but it looks like they bought the self-defense argument. Right, and of course, the, uh, the manslaughter charge kind of came in late in the trial. I, I'm, it did, I'm not it, sure in a lot of jurisdictions you can actually bring a charge that late. But, yeah, that's, uh, that's correct, although in Florida you can. And of course, the judge acquiesced in that at the request of the prosecution, which at the time looked like uh, they did that because they figured they were going to lose the second degree murder right. case. So let's fit that in to see if we can win on that one. But it's interesting that the, the jurors didn't even think the evidence really added up to manslaughter. And I think that's right. Now, the, uh, looking at where it goes from here, a statement from uh, President Obama yesterday saying uh, essentially we're a nation of laws and a jury has spoken. Uh, but uh, shortly and, and, and asking the public to honor the verdict, which yes. I which I give him credit for issuing, because a lot of his constituents are the people marching in the streets. That's right. <laughs> but but at the same time, clouding that picture a little bit, uh, the Justice Department suggesting that it's reviewing this. Now, I maybe this is the role of the Justice Department to review things that uh, people bring to their attention, but uh, it does seem to be a very different message from what Mr. Obama is saying. A jury has spoken versus. Justice now reviewing the case. Well, I think that's right. And the, the Justice Department, I mean, reviewing it is fine, okay, in the sense that, you know, they, they have a civil rights division that reviews it. I think it would be uh, 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 very uh, disappointing and or worse uh, if, uh, if they brought a case here because not only do you have to prove uh, that uh, beyond uh, 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 what the f they didn't prove in court, but you have to prove that it's a racial motive uh, uh, here. And there's no evidence on the record so far uh, that's turned out, that has demonstrated that uh, there was a mo mo racial motive by Zimmerman here. He did refer to, in a police, to police dispatcher as he was following Trayvon Martin to blank punks. Right. But that could refer to anybody who, had in, who was in his neighborhood he didn't know and, and looked suspicious. So it, it, it didn't have a racial connotation. Okay, so uh, uh, also, as you said, uh, probably very tough to prosecute. And I, and, I, and I think also, look, this was the most politicized case we've had in this country in a very long time. It's very polarized, the rea reaction to it. All right, there are a lot of people who I understand are disappointed with the verdict. The truth is Zimmerman here has, has, has you know, he had the book thrown at him for 18 months. Right. The full force of Florida law enforcement aimed at finding the evidence to prove That's him right. guilty. That's right. The state, after the, the local officials uh, were not going to charge him, the state basically took over the case and uh, I think you have to say devoted some uh, fair amount of resources and energy to prosecuting Th him. That's right. They brought in a special prosecutorial team from Jacksonville, uh, the governor uh, did. So you can't say that Trayvon Martin did not have legal representation. His, his The problem is they never really told the juries jurors what happened that right. night. We don't know. And they never disproved Zimmerman's account. And there was some evidence to back up Zimmerman's account, physical evidence with his injuries, right. a, a, an eyewitness who said it looked like Martin was on top of him when they were struggling, not right. Zimmerman. So it, 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 you have to prove in a court of law beyond a reasonable doubt. They didn't. Yeah. Now, do you have introduced double jeopardy with a federal civil rights well, charge? Well, I think that is the way it's going to look to a lot of people. If you're if you're basically calling the same uh, event uh, or, or charging the same action by a different name, that's going to that's going to appear to and be And the double issue jeopardy. of of larger issue of racial profiling of young black men, I think, is obviously a debate we've had and will have in this society. But that's not the sort of thing you 
you, the social policy you, you try in a court of law. 